Okay, today I've got my pattern, paper pattern here, and I've got my wood. This is a piece of three inch basswood. And let's see here. It's six and a quarter inches wide, which is just what I need. So I put this on here like that and drew it. And there's my pattern to cut out. And then I just freehand drew this on the back side, on the side. That's the side profile. So I'm going to go, go on the bass saw and bad saw, yeah. Sometimes it can be bad, but generally it's good. On the band saw, uh, I'm going to go cut this out, okay? Here's this little slab I cut off that uh, three inch basswood when I cut that head out. Like I say, I just I mean, I've got these patterns, so I don't need to do it again, but generally what I do, I'll drill a hole in this and go hang it up on a nail somewhere, and then there, got me a pattern. All right, so I've opened up my bandsaw, and now I'm going to cut the side profile first, okay? And I'll show you how I do that. Like I always say, the blade I'm using right here is a 3 16 inch skip tooth blade I bought from, uh, I can never think of the Timberwolf. Excellent blades. You can't beat them. But the skip tooth blade, this thing, you see, you're seeing how easy it cuts through this uh, six, over six inches here. No problem. So here we go. Now like I always do when I'm sawing, cutting out a blank from a square block of wood, I always stop before I get to the end of the cut. Then I take it out. And that keeps it on this square block of wood, okay? So this time I'm going to have to go this way. And I'm going to have to hang on to this thing real good because it's going to try to pull it down. So by doing it this way, you know, leaving these uh, blocks attached, these will just break off after I get the block blank cut out, but it, it maintains the integrity of the square block of wood and allows you to do all sorts of things that you wouldn't normally be able to do. Okay. Because if you went ahead and cut these off, then you're going to have to either take, glue them back on somehow, or tape them on, it's just... It, it makes a, a job that can be hard, easy to do. I'm going to ignore that line and start down here and use the whole piece of wood, okay? Now this time, as the right's going to be cut out on the saw the last time, I could go ahead and cut the rest of these things off, like that. I'm not so concerned about following my lines exactly, because I'm going to carve You can see. 
see that blade, it just goes through that wood like butter. So there's the block. Now all I have to do is well, prove me a liar. <laughs> Let me go get a screwdriver. Okay, now I can get a screwdriver in here and bust that block away. Come on, you booger. that in the wood box. And there you go. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my saw and do a little whittling with my saw. Now when I do this, do this, it's not a safe operation, let me tell you that. If you aren't that familiar with your tools and you haven't used them for a long time, bring that camera up here and they can actually see me talk, you're not going to have any trouble doing it if you've got a lot of confidence in your tools. So, don't do it. But I do it because I, I've done it a lot. I'm confident with my have confidence in my tools and so it doesn't bother me, okay? Anyway, back to the... Okay, uh, like I say, I've blocked it out enough to where I can see what's going to be going on, okay? That's why I do that. So now I can draw in my lines again. And uh, that this will be the first thing we relieve is the blanket here. But uh, another thing I like to do before I go on any farther is to uh, figure out how to mount this, make a base for it, okay? So that's what I'm going to do now. So to do that I got to go out into my wood stock. Here, come along, I'll take you with me. where I keep all my wood out here. I've got some walnut I use for bases and got all my basswood over there and just lots of stuff. Now here's a real nice piece of walnut. Let's just take a look here. It's a little bit large for what I want it for. I need to cut down cut down pieces of walnut. But it looks like that's what I'm going to have to do. That's oak. What I want, I want this mounted about like that. Here's my center line, so. This has bark off of one side. I have a feeling maybe maybe just maybe. Alright, let's go back into the shop and I'm going to take this is also walnut, okay? So I'm going to go back and shop. Okay, in here at the workbench, I didn't buy this, I think my son's wife gave this to me. 
$8.50 for a piece of walnut. That's not cheap, is it? So, I'm going to want to cut this about right there. All right. Like so. All right there. And I'm going to cut that about right there. I think I'm going to just take this whole piece off here, over here on my saw. Alright, you don't need to see me do that. I just make a whole bunch of noise for nothing, so I'll be back. Okay, I've got my block cut out here. So now what I want to do is I want to make the bottom piece. Tuck the edge there. Give myself a lot of support here. What do I got here? It's about behind it and in front of it. I think that's going to work about right there. Make a quarter inch there. probably saying, why is he making a base for the piece? He hadn't even started carving it. Well, it's not exactly square, so I'm going to have to square that up. So I'm going to add a little more up here. Okay. Cutting off the other side of the line. So. Okay. So that'll work real good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shave that off just a hair. Back to the saw. Kind of dirty. I'll make sure we get a clean edge to glue to. It's not quite square. There it goes. There we go, got a nice clean edge now. Alright. So now, I'm going to make a mark here. Five eighths. 
or seven eighths, excuse me. Alrighty, now I'm going over here to my router table. did there, I routed a de decorative edge around the outside and I left, left an area here in front for a name tag. Okay? Like that. Looks nice. Alright. Now we'll go back over here. Oh, we're getting a shop tour today. Set this down, just kind of position it in here where I like to go. And there's the center, and that's going to work out just perfect. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to show you this because <laughs> I might make a mistake and I don't want you to see. You know, I told you once before I'd let you see my mistakes. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little cut here on my router like that. Down this edge, down this edge up to there, down the back, and on over here. You know, just to, I don't want a, I don't want a uh, ugly square edge up here that the viewer can see. And that way, this area here will, will meet up flat against the back of the base here. But this will be uh, nice and relieved here. And it'll look, look pretty spiffy. Okay. So, that's going to do it for this video, and in the next video, we will uh, we'll continue on, and I'll start working on this. Did I show you my heads? Let's go, uh, go over to the workbench, and I'll show you. I finished the other side of that head. So, I've got two heads now. And, you know, just depending which one I'm going to use, I'm going to have to think about it. I like this one here. It looks nice. It's got a little character to it. But I like that one too. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay? So, until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.